I'm Desi Andrews. We have a terrible problem in this country. People don't know what to do. They're very angry. We have all kinds of factions coming against us all the time. When we try to do the right thing, we get criticized. We criticize ourselves. We're a very angry country right now. We need to stop. We need to get back to the country that this should be, the one that the founder, founding fathers told us when they did the Declaration of War, called the Declaration of Independence. They put down the grievances, the, the reason that they need to be independent. We need to tell the elite that run us that we are independent as well. It is time for us to live by the Declaration of Independence because it's our document and we need to use it. We can't consent to this insanity any longer, and we have the power of consent. Someone just asked me how we got in this position, how all the people got led down, how, how we became sheep were dumbed down. And I believe it started with in the television set. In 1956, I was a junior in high school, and we couldn't get a television until then. We couldn't afford one, but we did. We got a television in 56. And all of a sudden, my life changed. I lived in a neighborhood in a small town that all got together, that all relied on each other, that did things together. That never happened again. Never did they go out to build a sidewalk or straighten a road or, or pluck chickens. We used to get them in by the truckload and all the neighbors would gather. Never happened again. All I saw when I went out and walked the streets was a blue light from the windows. Never saw the neighbors again. And those neighbors were systematically programmed by whatever it is that any government agency wanted you to know or wanted to program you for. So as a result, people don't even have been really, really dumbed down. And we have become a slave mentality nation. We have to stop. At the bottom of the whole thing, and the reason they could do this was in 1861, war powers were laid on this land. And they should have stopped in 1865 when the hostilities ended, but they didn't. No peace treaty was ever issued after the Civil War. And as a result, the powers that be have taken advantage of that and used the war powers to enslave us. We are an occupied nation. We are an occupied people. But we have a great document, the Declaration of Independence, in which says we can abolish any government that doesn't secure our rights. We need to abolish whatever we call the government now. Republic depends totally on representation. I heard a congressman the other day say, when we asked a question, he said, my 600,000 plus constituents want and I was just appalled. The Constitution says no representative will have more than 30,000 people. That ended as well. Not by, a, not by a constitutional amendment, which is the only way that it can end, but by an act of Congress in 1929. No more apportionment of representatives. So we are not represented people. And when you went out to vote for somebody, you didn't vote for a representative because none exist, as the Constitution names them. We have to stop that. We can do it with a treaty of peace. We can end the civil war that gave them the war powers to do what they've done to us. And we can totally abolish the current government that we have and start from scratch. We, the people, can run this be nation better. You look in the mirror, you're looking back at the government. It's time that we took control of this nation and got back to where it should be. We want peace. As a peaceful nation, we can achieve anything. As a nation continually in war, everything goes to the elites and the military industrial complex wins. We lose every time. We, we, we must stop the war. Uh, this website is all about peace. We have a form to fill out on the website that you can sign the peace treaty. We need each and every American to sign that peace treaty. And if you want more information for a donation, as small as you'd like, $10 or more, we'll send you, and that will get you the war powers, the mastery of war powers, which explains the takeover of this country. Not, not fabrication, not crazy theories, but system from the people that did it, 
from their words. We've studied this for a very long time, and we want you to help us end the war, end the enslavement, and help us set our people free. Thank you.